Vicki Dow was sexually abused as a child. She painted to express the feelings she couldn't put into words, like this one titled Purge. And I literally was vomiting up. And after that happened, I was like, I don't have that feeling anymore. And so that's where that piece came from. And then the last two mm. are like, ah, I feel so free. Vicki brought her painting to the nonprofit Reclaim 13 to see if it would be accepted into the art show. That's where she found her safe space. They treated the piece and me mm -hmm. with such dignity. Mm -hmm. I had never felt that before. Mm -hmm. It was transformational. Artist and sexual assault survivor Kate Pepich painted this. Every piece of you is a burst of something beautiful. This already exists in our world, and so the fact that we get the opportunity to do something about it mm -hmm. and bring healing to these precious lives is the most rewarding and um, exciting thing to us. Reclaim 13 works with children ages 10 to 17 who have been trafficked and sexually abused. They run a safe house for these kids and are starting another one that will help young adults 18 to 25. The artists may come here to be anonymous for fear of being judged. What they find during the course of the day is people coming through here are moved and touched mm -hmm. and give them the experience and the, the sense that they are loved and they are cherished and they are valued and they are um, just worthy of all the compassion that people give mm -hmm. to people. Sex trafficking doesn't just happen in cities, but in suburban communities as well. And children are not just trafficked by strangers. Our children are being trafficked even by their parents. We have mm -hmm. persons that are trafficked by foster parents and birth parents. So we have this ongoing problem. They're not leaving the state. Mm -hmm. They're not leaving their communities. They're being trafficked right there. There is no time limit for the Reclaim 13 program because there is no time limit on how long it takes a person to heal. In Lyle, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.